Hello, time for part 7 of my playthrough of Civilization 5 for beginners. Um, let's just see how I'm doing. So, so, oh, approval, really good. Oh, because I have some city states involved helping me a lot. Um, oh, Sugar, jewellery, all those things, luxuries. Well, six from city states, okay. Well, every little helps, as some people say. But with that, I can expand a bit. Plonk another city down, perhaps. You can also go to war if you're happy, because when you conquer cities, um, it causes unhappiness. Um, even if you raise them or burn them to the ground, it causes outrage, and your citizens tend to get upset. So. I think you lose about eight for each city, so it's pretty tough to have a major war. Somebody suggested I should attack America. It, in, in warlike terms, it would probably actually be a good time to do so. But I like to play peaceful games. But America here is up here. Uh, they're big and strong and that's okay, but I'll fight them if they fight me. If I, if I were playing a warlike game it'd probably be worth getting rid of these neighbours. Or if they were using up too much of the land which I needed so I had no choice really but to get them out of my way then I certainly would. Um, something the matter here? He can't explore anymore. Ah, oh, he probably doesn't have the right to go through here. I'm just going to get rid of him. I don't need it anymore anyway. Right. Okay, you may explore. I have a good deal of coal. Some iron which I'm not really using. Horses. Iron was better, more useful in the primitive era, but I'm, I'm in the industrial era now. So coal is more the kind of thing I'm going to be needing. And oil shortly. in all cities so I can up my science with the National College provided I don't settle another city I think until I've built it. I can maybe purchase a building with faith. Back here. Let's try another city then. I'm looking for where I can build pagodas with faith. Not looking good. Well, I can build as well, nothing much. Missionary. Hmm.
Maybe. All right, let's. Well, now I'm going to save up and go for a great profit. Because previously, in the previous part, I failed to give the religion big toe to one of these city-states, which would have been helpful. Um, a great profit is more powerful. I can hear I have the railroad. For theatre there, what the heck? Right. I'll make a note of what resources I'm going to need because clearly I'm going to have to build some extra happiness. The number keeps going down and down and down. Silver, gems, marble, spices, silk, sugar and jewellery. I need some more. And what's up here? Well, I want to go here because that's the, pla that's the place I identified myself because incense is here. So let's plonk a settler down straight away. And I make a net gain because I will be adding incense to my city. So it's gone down because of the new city, but incense is going to give me plus four once I start working it. What's he saying? Hmm. Darned Songhai. They are a bit of a nuisance, really. Stole some tech. Great artists, I could start yet another golden age. Since I don't have much in the way of arty places to stick his work, I'll I'll go for a golden age, what the heck. Another policy, now I can either have an ideology or I can 
improved patronage. Ideology gives me quite a lot of things and my second level possibilities. More happiness could be useful. More science, more stuff generally. I think I will go for a social policy though because patronage improves my influence with the city-states and I can get stuff from them if they're friends or allies of mine. I've got consulates. Not a great one, but some of the ones that follow it up are better. Research, what do I need? Culture, perhaps. It's hard to say, really. You need more of everything, and that's the nature of the game, and that's the nature of human nature. Culture is growing at the rate of 105 a turn. Every time it reaches that total, 1720, I can get a new social policy. But that total then increases. So each social policy is more expensive than the last. On the other hand, your civilization is supposed to be expanding, so it kind of evens out. Take it, whales are a surplus. No, they're not a surplus. I better keep them then. And well, there's nothing I can trade with them, really. I don't want to give them strategic resources. I'll give us my iron. What will you give me th for this? Horses, five for iron. Okay, I still have a few horsey units. Ten, nine, twelve, fourteen, eleven. Oops. Eleven, 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 ten. Right, okay. Fourteen, that's the most money. Repeat. I see camels as cash cows. Cash camels, I suppose. If there's anything else I really need to buy, I don't think so. A great general, they're not terribly useful if, they're, if you're not in a war. But if you are, well, they're pretty good because your units standing nearby gain bonuses. Let's send out another caravel then.
Archaeology. I can now build archaeologists who are a, a special kind of worker that excavate landmarks and generate culture. Built an archaeologist, shall I? This city needs to do something productive, but let's have a museum. research. Oil, I should know where it is as soon as possible really, so that I can stop others getting it. And maybe seize it for myself. It's a big problem if there's none in my territory. Because I can trade for it potentially, but other players may not want to. And what if it's only my enemies that have it? Well, rivals, perhaps I should say. I don't really have any enemies in this game. It, so far. The World Congress has been founded. Ooh, a great writer has been born. The World Congress... It's kind of like, well, an early version of the United Nations is what it is. And you can try and poke the other civilizations with um, ideas and social policies which they don't like. And I shall purchase something as well. Again, to assist with food and growth. A proposal to the First Council. Now, oh, I appear to have the most delegates. No, no, he's got me. He's got more. He's got six delegates. And he's got seven. Hmm. And what can I do? Who knows? What will be good for me? A world ideology? That would be my ideology. Available once any civilization discovers radio. Hmm. I could try it, I suppose. I take it my ideology is order. The Americans wouldn't like it, oh dear.
ก็ไหวAutomated workers are on the way down there. Whoosh. And I see a pesky uh, missionary from those guys. He's also on his way. 17, 18, 18, 19. Well, oh, 19 sounds good to me. Can either boost happiness or boost productivity. Let's boost productivity first. Happiness isn't negative anyway at the moment. Spices in exchange for iron. I don't really need iron. How about cotton? No. I don't really want iron. I have no use for it. Refuse. to negotiate passage through my territory. Well, I want open borders on both sides, right? Ridiculous. Well, actually, I don't care about any of that, so yeah, it's all right. So that my caravans can keep going there. And he wants spices as well, but I, I, I do have a surplus for him. Iron again? Mm. What about aluminium? Hasn't popped up up here yet. I guess it will at some point. Ooh, happiness has just improved because whales, four from whales. Because I'm not getting rid of them to wherever it was. Archaeologists. Now, if there was an archaeology site over here, wasn't there? That thing. So I send him over there, right click on it. Whoosh. And next turn he can do a little bit of archaeological digging.
Looks like Napoleon is being exterminated. Oh, Valletta. City-state has given me a new unit. A rifleman. That's pretty cool. That's one of the big advantages of having military city-states as your allies. I do have to pay maintenance for it, though. Right, build a dig. The jungle on that tile will be removed, and so will the trading post. And I will get something... I take it they're doing that. Dig, yes. Yes, I do. Okay, okay. all right. Choose production. Let's build another archaeologist. I don't know where to send him. Maybe I'll see another antiquity site somewhere. The best ones are within my territory. But I was only told about the one, so that's probably it. Oh, there's one just outside. There's one there, and I could usefully build a city down here somewhere. Maybe way down here. Some cows and some coal and some another antiquity site there. Another one there. Again, they're all just outside my territory. Ooh. A world wonder has been found. Hmm. Any other antiquity sites? Hmm, over there, yes. And there. Hmm. Lots of them around, just outside my territory. Just purchase that one. Okay, return to map. These are not really close enough to purchase, I think. I could extend my territory out perhaps. What I might do is build a settler to settle up here. I think I should be expanding still. My advisors here may not totally agree. Doesn't really like us like me to be founding cities right now. Not quite sure why. Build some archaeologists and get some culture in. These city-states like the fact that I've found a natural wonder and it increases my influence with them. Archaeologist there, well, why not nip over there and develop that one? Hospital for more food. Happiness is now negative, got a problem, possible problem. Hospital means more move more food, but it also means more unhappiness. Well we'll worry about that at some point.
happiness has improved again. It's a bit up and down. And by quite a long way as well. Right. The Great General appears, hooray! And extra experience for any units built in that city. There's the Great General, I don't have any use for him. He can build a citadel if necessary, which um, obviously protects the units in it and causes damage for enemy units just outside it, adjacent to it basically. 30 damage. It's not per citadel, if you're in the, the, the zone of control of two citadels you, you still only take 30 damage. Um, yeah, but it also extends your territory, so if you're next to an enemy you can steal a bit of land from them, but it will cause a diplomatic incident. There's another one of those things. So, sleep. Or some diplomatic annoyance, anyway. another trade slot so I figure I'll build a caravan. Is he going? And what is he doing? Oh, he's probably an early explorer, isn't he? We'll carry on exploring. Hmm. Happiness plus one. Well, there's a good one. A lot of culture, mm, happiness, which is well, this is a bit of a problem, really. So much to do. And what are my top priorities? I don't really know. Culture or happiness. And that's a culture thing as of hotels as well, offshore platform. Well, ooh, I'm gonna go for that first. Hmm. Tough one. Too much choice. Without without a definite direction it's hard to pick specifically what I'm going to uh, do next. This is where strategy is handy, because you are aiming towards a particular point, and I'm not really. I see there's some oil outside my territory there. It might be wise for me to purchase that hex quickly. Some 
There's some oil over here as well. And there. And there. Oh dear. If I want a lot of oil, <laughs> there it is. Is there any in my territory, actually? Offshore platform... I'm looking for oil at the moment. Some out there again. Not in my territory, in fact. So if I want a whole load of oil, I should plant a city down here quickly. Kachunk. How annoying. With one happiness as well. Let's quickly build a settler then. This guy should probably be upgraded. Right, archaeologist. Let's develop one that's outside my territory. Just to be on the safe side. Gonna buy these things now. I do, oh, that one has expanded to include that one, that's nice. Okay. Oh, where are we? All oh, right, right, we've done the dig. Now we have to figure out what it means. Classical era amulet. I can make a great work of arts um, for plus two culture and plus two tourism per turn. Tourism is... Uh, it, it takes culture from other civilizations, in effect. They come to see your culture. Uh, so it's like your culture is getting, gaining influence over them. Uh, or I can create a landmark which will have plus one culture per era older than the current era. So, classical, renaissance, and there's, there's a couple of eras in between, so I would get maybe a couple of two or three culture points per turn like that, or I can get culture and tourism, and the square will be, or the hex will be available to be rebuilt. I think I'll do that. So it goes into a museum and that hex can be rebuilt or by the workers when they get some time. Not very happy as usual, but he's in big trouble. With minus eight, he's going to have rebellions on his hand. 
Where's hands? Oh, upgrade again. There we go. Oh, it's inside my territory, so classical era. Well, I might try a landmark improvement this time, same basic setup, just for fun. Now that square gives culture. Three culture is what I'm getting per turn. Pretty good. Declaration of friendship. Yes, let us work together. It says on that button just off the bottom of your screen. We won't actually do any work together, probably. We're sorry this has caused a divide between us, says that button. The other button, get over it. They don't make a lot of difference, really, what, what you press, I think. Yeah, never mind. to nab all this oil as rapidly as possible then he really has to settle somewhere like this the stone works there sheep up there sheep there it's a bit of a questionable location for a city really but I'll send some escort down there as well I'm not sure if I can build offshore platforms yet, if I have the right technology. Oh, it's in process. He wants a research agreement and whales. I can't do that because I don't have surplus whales. Those are my last whales. Friendship, yep, okay, bye. Yep, keep the open borders agreements. Hmm. 
Mm. Okay, let's develop these fish at last, shall we? You can head down here, ready to work on this oil. Another workboat, please. Let's get the cash going, shall we? Another policy. Boost my science, yep. Then... Uh, That'll be really good, extra happiness from luxuries and gold from trade routes, city-states. Mm. Well, let's get there then, extra science. Erm. Um. Ooh, is that promise still in force? Well, anyway, that's not that near to you. Well, sorry about that. Um, tough luck. Yep. Yep. Research agreements are good, I think, although they do use up your cash. Sugar and spices, and I do have spices, yes. I do need the sugar, so keep going. France is in a bad way. In fact, France is basically gone, I think. can improve productivity. It's probably the best thing for him. Or speed production of an object. I can send him to here, say. I'll move the great general so he's not in the way so much. There we go. Now there was an archaeological site down here somewhere, wasn't there? Here it is. Police station limits enemy spying, basically. Oh, they've dug up this cow field and discovered... Oh no. Choose archaeology. Oh. oh, danger, danger. Let's go. Build, but I had better send somebody up there to exterminate those guys. That increases my maintenance costs noticeably. If you watch, when I increase that, it's 31. Oh, we're all right there.
I think it's when you get to the modern era it, it causes hassle. Can't upgrade him. Due to lack of cash. Right, archaeology, where are we? Was it here? Right. A coin. No point in creating a landmark improvement outside of my city boundaries, so I'll just pop it in a museum somewhere. There we go. He wants whales. He has a surplus salt, but I don't have... Oh, I do have surplus whales now for him. Yes, that's fine. Excellent, in fact. I should get some extra happiness. Ta-da! Because of the salt. Modern era, hooray! Well, he can go and work on those fish. He can build a manufactory, which increases productivity in that tile. Crossbow man can be upgraded now. I think it will increase my maintenance cost, so that number should go down. Ooh, not yet. Okay. Maybe it's I'm maybe I'm deluded here, but Well, I had train sounds, but I don't actually have the railroad yet. Offshore platform. Another spy, now. What to do with him? Let's have a look. At, I could put him as a diplomat in some other civilization, but there's nobody I really need, feel the need to spy on, to be honest. Although these Songhai people may be a nuisance. Um, let's see. Antwerp's mercantile giving me happiness. Singapore's mercantile giving me happiness. I'm actually an ally of Valletta. Even without doing that. Oh, they've got the big toe religion. Aha. Uh -huh. That was sufficient. Well, I'm fair way ahead on them. They're granting me whales. That's where the extra one comes from. So actually, they're quite useful. But is there somebody else I can boost up into this zone fairly easily? Bogota, what do they have? 
furs and aluminium. They want big toe, where are they? Behind Songhai, okay. It's a possibility for furs. Florence could be granted me culture, but Americans are their ally. Cape Town could be granted me more happiness. Americans are their ally, but but they have silk, which I already have, lots of aluminium. What was Florence again? Furs. And the letter here has those whales. I think I might reinforce the Valletta one. Hmm. But these guys have pearls. I have to go some to oust them. Alright, I think I'll send my guy to Valletta and just make sure I stay the ally of that place. It'll keep my military up anyway. I could put him in my own city as a defence against spying. I could put him in an enemy city so I have some idea of what they're up to. But they don't seem to be up to much, at least not the ones on my border. I might consider Bogota at some time in the future. If I need furs again. Okay, well that's basically it for this turn. That's part seven. So I'll see you in part eight, hopefully. Bye for now.